I think what you're trying to ask is uh, why am I so insistent upon giving out to them that blackness, that black power, that black pushing them to identify with uh, 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 black culture. I think that's what you're asking. It's, it's, I have no choice over it. In the first place, to me, we are the most beautiful creatures in the whole world, black people. I mean, and I mean that in every, every sense, uh, outside and inside. Well, it is me, um, strong, black, beautiful. Okay, this is some gangster shit. My hair is a fade with some um, dreadlocks and some dye. Yeah, it's just, just could be up a bit so I don't look like everybody else. Well, this hair implies that um, I'm a rapper. Just um, symbolizes that I'm still a teenager, a 20 year old. My hair is is black hair. It's, it's I think I would call it 4C hair, 4C type hair. Very curly, very um, thin. But then there's also I think it's like a mixture between 4C and 4B because it's like it's got like a curl, but it's very stiff at the same time. Uh, this hair I would uh, describe as an Afro gone wrong, as you can see. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing his fade that uh, these guys like doing. Maybe in Devon Guy, you know, go bold, something like that. It tastes like semi kinky. Um, it's, it's quite fine, it looks coarse, but it's actually quite fine. It's just that it's enveloped in like a lot of curls. It's very kinky here, but I relax it, so you can't see that. It's very kinky though, I try and comb it. Um, my hair is in, a, in its most natural state. Um, no chemicals, no straighteners. It's basically just natural hair. My hair right now is actually transitioning from relaxed hair to natural hair. I I used to relax my hair, but last year or so I decided I actually want to have my own natural hair, and I stopped relaxing my hair. Zala Sufi received a petition tabling problems at the Pretoria Girls High School about perceived acts of racism. These included disapproval of natural black hair or dreadlocks and braids and an apparent instruction not to speak in vernacular. Yesterday we woke up to a hashtag stop racism at Pretoria Girls High. I've just grown up with my hair being relaxed by my mom. There's almost something that I've gotten used to, but then she says it's because every time she tried to comb it, I would cry because it was painful. Some people don't feel comfortable with having a normal hair. I mean, okay, I'll show you mine. As I said before, it is an Afro gone wrong after all. Whiteness has been normalized and everything else is added. And so um, you have your, you as a black person being likened, constantly being to the norms um, of all the beauty standards of, of white people and then that's where you have people being forced to straighten their hair or relax it. No one, no one should dictate to you how you should have your hair. It is yours after all. I, I know, I, I myself have been in a, in, a, in, a, in a white school and in that school we were told that you're not allowed to have a fade. They put some restrictions on the hair, on, on girls hair and stuff. I wouldn't recall everything. But um, we always felt as though those rules were being oppressive in a way. But uh, I might say that we were never really that much bold towards you know, challenging those rules because we feared the repercussions which might result as of that. But I can't really say my hair has a life of its own because it's part of what makes me who I am. It's a part of my identity, you know. So My hair is professional. I, I find that statement quite problematic. As far as I'm concerned, my hair is as professional as it comes when I was born. <laughs> um, my hair is me, and there's nothing unprofessional about me. My definition of professionalism is you being good at whatever it is that you do, you being excellent at whatever it is that you do as a person. So it's about capability. 
what makes her a professional is, you know, being being sufficient to everyone that looks at you. For example, you have a bald hair, no one has a problem with it. But if you have this kind of hair, people will just assume other things that you are. Oh, you're not going to take him seriously because he has that kind of hair. He's from, maybe he's from somewhere or he's a rapper or he's just gangster or something. Yeah. Natural hair has always had sort of like negative connotations to it. It likes, it, it's almost like it, sim, it symbolizes angry black women. I really think my hair would have people second guess me, especially in the corporate world. If I were to apply for a job and I went with my hair like this, I think they'd second guess me. So I, I don't really think my hair is professional. I wouldn't describe it as being professional. It's just, I prefer having it this way, but if I was to go for an interview or something like that and for a company or for a job, I would definitely try to do something a bit there to change it. I'm not really comfortable with the way it is. Um, there are people who do even crazier things with their hair and they are absolutely brilliant at what they do. very overrated like the whole thing you have to look um, if you look if you have straight hair you basically are trying to look white it's not true it's really not true it's really not a white thing white people naturally most okay have naturally white hair but it doesn't really mean if I want to have a weave or whatever that I'm really trying to be white unless you really are but I don't think that's like normally what you know what encourages you like some people say to me why can't you be proud of the way your hair is why do you have to put chemical in it and i'm thinking it will be so hard to even just i think it's neat when it's like this because not that straight hair is the neatest hair but then as for me when it's not relaxed i can't comb it at all like it is painful so i just walk around with it like that. so i'd rather relax it so that it can look neat those can have braids, they have braids, not because they're not proud of their hair, but because their hair, um, they just lay it to, to comb every day in the morning. And if um, you don't have like artificial hair, like braids, your hair gets um, broken and, and um, just crusty faster. But if you have like braids like girls do, the hair just lasts longer, you know what I mean? I feel like it undermines different levels of standards of beauty and if you feel beautiful in a certain way doing a certain thing you should be okay in that and I think I think being woke or not isn't like I said intrinsically linked to the way you look so yeah you can have natural hair great so it's not always the case with other people but with me the implications that come with it are right personal um, reason why I wear my hair the way I do is because most of my life I've had to um, assimilate to whiteness like constantly you know I um, have to relax my hair constantly I'm um, plaiting it if not plaiting relaxing um, because that was now closer to um, whiteness and therefore closer to beauty um, and so it's 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 now something that i make as a point you know i make it a point to have my hair in its most natural form because i'm defying what i've been constantly told throughout my life is not beautiful you know so i'm defying their beauty standards and i'm redefining my own beauty I think what's most important is, is we don't self-deprecate. That's my thing. To self-deprecate and maybe wear a weed because you don't like your own hair. For me, I'm like, please, I understand where that's coming from because I was there too. Um, and I still go through that sometimes. But one needs to understand that you as a being, you are, you are the way you're meant to be. You know, you're, you're beautiful the way you are. 
um, regardless of anything else. And then when you want to, you do it. Just feel free to do whatever you want. And no one should judge you on that, you know? Um, yeah, I, I'm still in the experimental phase, seeing what it can do, what certain things look good on me, what don't or what doesn't. To everyone out there, embrace your hair, you know, feel proud of it, uh, take care of it, you comb your hair, I think that's the only way if your hair is not really professional. Other than that, yeah, you know, be proud of who you are. And to me, we have a culture that uh, is surpassed by, 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 by no other civilization, but we don't know anything about it. So again, I think I've said this before in the same interview, I think uh, at some time before, my, my job is to somehow make them curious enough or persuade them by hook or crook to get more aware of themselves and where they came from and what they are into and what is already there and just to bring it out. This is what compels me to compel them. And I will do it by whatever means necessary.